1964. M16. Caliber 5.56 millimeter NATO. Now, some folks will try to tell you that it fires too small around, and it's prone to jamming. But as the most produced firearm in its caliber, it must be doing something right. But the M16 has a rival, an arch enemy, an automatic rifle that has gone up against it for a lot of years. The ultimate bad guy gun, the AK-47. Yuck. 1949, AK-47, caliber 7.62 millimeter, also known as the Kalashnikov after its designer. The AK-47 is a no-nonsense, robust design. It's cheap, easy to operate, almost impossible to jam, and a favorite with serious bad guys all over the world. As great as the M16 is, there are actually some people out there who think the AK-47 is a superior weapon. <laughs> so I'm going to end the argument once and for all with three challenges designed to test every aspect of these arch rivals. Now, on the dark side of the fence over here, we have AK-47 lover Mike Tristano. Over this shoulder, on side of the good guys, I have trigger puller Torrance Hall with his M16 rifle. Ooh. The first test is to show which rifle is easiest to field strip under adverse conditions. You're in a combat situation, late at night, no moon, no stars, totally overcast, can't see your hand in front of your face, rifle malfunctions. You gotta field strip that rifle, get it back to working order, and put it back together. Okay, you guys are both blindfolded. Can you see? No. Are you ready? Yes. Field stripping is essential if your rifle jams or gets too dirty to use. Well, come on. Let's go, boys. Field stripped. Are you sure that's totally field stripped? Seems to be. Okay. Okay, put it back together then. Well, come on, Torrance, we don't have all night. Field strip. Yeah, put it back together. Go for it. I seem to be missing a part. You do? Oh, oh, excuse me. Sorry. Oh, thank you, Gunny. Must have fallen on the ground. OK, well, hurry up. Let's go. Now, I noticed that you didn't, uh, you didn't take your bolt down. Don't right have to on. with the AK. Oh, you don't, don't you? Uh, you're... The bolt comes off the bolt carrier. That is the extent of the field stripping of the AK-47. Are you finished? I am. Well, you know, that little test tells me one thing, gentlemen. The M16 is better engineered. Well, that satisfies me. Let's move on to the next uh, contest. Test number two will show which gun has the most stopping power. Okay, boys, it's all about penetration. You got one shot. Shoot that cinder block down there. Want to see which one is the most powerful with the most penetration. Hoorah. That's what we're looking for, okay? Go ahead. First Torrance with the All-American M16 firing the 5.56 millimeter round. Oh yeah, dead center. Ooh. Good hole, right in the middle. Didn't get much penetration back here. But you know, that's uh that's concrete. Well made. Ha ha ha. Okay. Mike, go ahead and put your block up there. Hurry up. That's good. Okay, get your uh, rifle. Let's go back. All right, comrade, let's get locked and loaded. Same deal. Let's see what the AK-47 packs. Well, you broke the cinder block. There's no question about it. It didn't have a nice, neat little hole in it, though, like, like the M16 did. I don't did. think it makes neat holes, Gunny. But, you know, there's a lot to be said about neatness. Now, the 
M16 put a nice, neat little hole right through the center. So I'm, I'm gonna have to call this a draw. Yeah, that's the way I look at it. Now we've got one more test, and it's gonna be fully automatic. Now Torrance, oh, nothing personal, but uh, let me take care of this bit of, bit of business, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, okay, here we go. We each have a 30-round magazine. We're gonna unload it into that target up there. Whoever has the most rounds in the middle of the target wins the game. That's plain and simple. Easy enough. Go ahead, go for it. Shooting like this causes muzzle climb, which pulls your aim way off target. So, test number three is all about accuracy with continuous, fully automatic fire. What part of fully automatic don't you understand, Mike? That's about as fast as this thing will go. Okay, let's go up there and mark your share of the target here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. They got thirteen in the bullseye. That's not too bad. No. Okay. My turn. This is how we do it here in America with American weapons, okay? So pay close attention. Thirty rounds, fully automatic. I rest my case. We start from the top, eh? Uh -huh. One, two, three. Now, I don't need to spell it out for you knuckleheads out there. In my book, the M16 is the better rifle. You can count on that. 19, Mike, this is starting to be embarrassing, you know? But anyway. I have to give you that one, Gunny. It's been a pleasure, an absolute pleasure whipping your butt today. <laughs> well, thank now, you, Cuddy. Let's just go and join forces and have some fun. Just blow this target to smithereens. Let's finish Come on. that wall off. Hara! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>